Hello, good morning, good Wednesday morning, year four. This is Mrs Keeley and this is your English lesson. The TLP is, can I plan my guide for how to look after a lost thing? Right, so in your pack, you should, if you have a look through it, you should find this planning sheet. Okay, the TLP there is, can I plan my guide? So it should be in there somewhere. So have a look inside your pack and rummage around to get the pack. Right. Also in your pack too, there is the example guide on how to look after a bearded dragon. That might just be helpful in the next couple of days. If not today, that might be really helpful for tomorrow when you actually come to start writing. But today, this is going to be you actually planning. So not you writing your guide yet, but for you planning your guide. So the next thing you're going to see is you're going to see me having a go at planning my guide for my own lost thing. You are going to be, of course, writing your guide for your own lost thing that you have designed. Right, so we are going to um, plan our guide. So remember, this is a plan. So you don't need to write in full sentences. I'm just going to make notes using bullet points. So you will notice that I'm not writing in full sentences. So I've made a start. My first box is the typical appearance of my lost thing here. Okay, so it's got a large bell-like shape with removable with a removable spiky top. Right now, the next thing I need to put some information on about. Okay, it has many doors. Drawers. If you remember what this looks, this lost thing looks like. It's got all of those kind of openings. Uh, and openings. On body. Notice it's not a full sentence. And it has, can you use the, the word multiple, so more than one. Multiple, multiple, green, arms and legs. and blowholes. Remember it's got those two holes where sometimes it blows smoke and sometimes bubbles. Um, and it has two large pincer grippers. We're calling ours pincer grippers. Grip as with remember those two little red bells with chime bells attached right so remember yours is going to be totally different okay because yours is going to be original right so it's purpose Okay, so what is my lost thing's purpose? What does it do? What's the point of it? Right, so remember, I'm just going to do quick bullet points to provide, not even using the word to, provide care for others. And this other thing, if you remember, collect treasure, to collect collect treasure. Right, so next one, diet. Let's fill in this one. Okay, so it will have to eat any light source. Just put especially Christmas 
lights. That's what we know it especially likes. Now, do you remember Mrs. Brewman? In her lesson, she was going through some of the technical language and some of it was to do with diet. So we know that this lost thing really likes what's known as high density engine oil. Right, so that's quite technical. And also something called WD40, which is a kind of spray and it's used to keep in good working order. Look, this lost thing really likes WD-40 as a special treat. Right, habitat. So the habitat means kind of where it lives, how it likes, how it likes to have where it lives. Okay, so this lost thing likes to have a large open space to wander and blow bubbles. Hmm, what else does it like its home, its habitat to be like? Oh, I know, yes. Okay, I've got an idea. It likes lots of warming sunlight. So do I. Um, what else? Oh, now this one's really important because otherwise, if, if it hasn't got this, it can't fulfill its purpose. So it needs to have access to outside world so it can care for others and just add this on the end find treasure Right, now, next bit. How to care for them and keep them happy. Right, so for my lost thing, this is what I need to tell the person who's going to receive this guide what my lost thing needs to keep it happy. It needs a safe, secure place to sleep, forward slash rest. We all need that, all really, really important. Um, it needs good food, regular feeding times, at least Two time, two time strings of lights per feed. And really, really important, it needs the company of other lost things. It's a very sociable lost thing. Okay, now those are my ideas but they're not in full sentences yet. Right, now where to return if found? So say somebody finds this lost thing wandering around, they're going to need to have a look in the guide and they're going to need to find where to return it. Right, so you can go crazy with your imagination here. I have had fun thinking of some of these. See if you can guess what these are going to be. So to return it if found to the R S P C L T. What do you think that could be? You're right. 
it is the Royal Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Lost Things. There we go. Also going to have the LTRC. Can you guess what that one might be? The Lost Thing Rescue Centre. And the last one, I'm just going to call it the Lost Thing Welfare Centre. Right, now for this last one, your funny facts, you have already done this. Do you remember in your bullet point lesson last week, we already went through what your funny facts could be. So your work is already done there. Right, what I will do is I will take a picture of each one of these boxes and you'll be able to see that on the video later. Um, I will also give you some top tips that you will see after this. Okay, year four, so I hope that that was helpful watching me plan my guide for how to look after my lost thing. Just remember, you don't need to write in four sentences. This is your planning document, okay? This is your planning piece of writing. Um, it, the, the plan really is just useful for remembering everything you want to include in your guide. You are not writing it out in full in this exercise, okay? Um, use bullet points to organise your work as I have done. Uh, remember, they don't have to be in order, so that's just everything in bullet points that I want to make sure I remember for when I actually come to write my guide. Don't forget, in that last box, you have already written your funny facts using bullet points, so you don't need to redo that, okay? You've already got them in another piece of work. Right, so get creative and have fun, okay? Now this is my stuck and confused face. So if you feel like you're doing this sort of face and you're not sure about this video and you're not sure what to do on Wednesday morning when you watch it, why not come along to the 11.30 Zoom drop-in session? Um, I will be there, Mrs. Brewman will be there, or one of us will be, to help you, okay? Your grown-up should have all of the details and this afternoon, we really look forward to seeing your work, your plan on how to look after your, your plan for your guide on how to look after your lost things. So good luck year four.